Hey, this building used to be a hospital and 900 babies were born here. And now we're drinking coffee and <laughs> eating quiche. So yes. <laughs> Boy, things things really change, but it's it's been great here. By the way, in our next hour, you've got to call in sick for work. I don't care what, it, but you've got to stay for the next hour because we have two stories that will absolutely touch your heart. Coming up here live from Franklin, uh, you're going to want to touch me with one of these with this forecast. I'm sorry, but take a look at the jet stream that river bear separating the warm and cold. If you were with us at uh, four o'clock this morning, uh, Kelly was talking a lot about the fact that the jet is taking a polar dip to the south. And as a result, this cold air is just pouring in. Folks, this is a lot colder than it's supposed to be. Right now, we are at 19 degrees officially in Indianapolis. We're at 18 in Kokomo and only 20 in Bedford. How about this? Hey, folks, listen to this. The wind chill this morning is 8. It is 8 degrees out there. That's what it feels like. And this is November. We're not even to Thanksgiving yet. Uh, here's our day planner. 30 degrees by the noon hour, a high in the mid-30s. I am very optimistic about the Colts for a lot of reasons. I think they're going to beat the stuffings out of the Dolphins, but if you're going for tailgating, wow, very nice. 52 at 1 p.m. Remember, this is a 4.05 start. It'll be 54 at that time. We'll take that. And then our extended forecast, it does get cold next week. We honor our veterans Monday on a chilly day at 36 and then 30 Tuesday and uh, Ben and Julia in the 30s on Wednesday. So we've got some cold weather ahead, but we're nice and warm, and we've got so many great things for you live from Maine and Madison, right boys? <laughs>